old guys in anime in this video we'll be discussing old guys in anime who are really powerful making them some of the most badass characters around they in no way shape or form need a walking stick neither do they need their grandchildren to help them cross the road believe it or not you would have never guessed they're pushing 30 unless you saw them their physical movement and combat abilities stand at the top of the rankings their background stories and character development will touch your soul from a guy's perspective if these moments didn't have you emotional to the point you had to question your sexuality due to your love for these old men then you've come to the wrong place. Watching this will reveal spoilers for any casual anime fans. Continue this video if you put the time and effort to consume thousands of episodes of anime. You have a life, don't worry, we're on the same boat. This old head is from the famous show called Naruto. Here is Saratobi, aka the third Okage. This man uses a dildo. Hold on, my bad. This man is a top ranking official in the village called Konoha and controls all plays involving the village's longevity. He was so strong they called him the goddess Shinobi and was a disciple of his predecessors, the first and second Okage. He had fame, strength, and power, but that abruptly came to an end when his dead predecessors got reincarnated and started jumping his ass. The master the mastermind behind this calculated attack was a snake looking more for Kodorochimaru. This was straight betrayal because this man was Hiruzen's student who mastered every technique taught to him and did not hesitate to try and to kill him. Hiruzen fought hard to keep all three attackers at bay even leading to a fatal blow on the snake. Then he died which was sad as hell. Whole village had to dress in black and shit. Right here touches home for a lot. This name is not used lightly within the One Piece community. Edward Newgate known as Whitebeard. The man is put on legendary status and has one of the most greatest pirate crews till this day. His immense strength and power granted him the title of strongest pirate. He consumed the fruit called Quake Quake which has given him the ability to manipulate earth structure to cause earthquakes at any given time. This entail leads to gigantic scary ass tsunamis that would have your eyes twerking. Sadly enough all good stories come to an end due to a massive factor being that Whitebeard was no longer in his prime and was on some type of medication from constantly being treated by nurses. A crewmate of his was on death row and was being guarded by over 100,000 soldiers and on top of that some of the most powerful characters in the series. But this nigga Whitebeard Shit, there's nothing stopping this guy from penetrating the enemy. Bro and his team went crazy on their defences, but the war led to Whitebeard being attacked by a man recently mentioned in the previous videos. Blackbeard, a former pirate crew member working for Whitebeard, but then usually when characters die, they drop like a dead fly. But I kid you not, this man literally died standing up. On top of that, not even a single scar was left on his back due to him never turning his back on his people. Like, comment, subscribe what you wanna see next.